Okay, so we're gonna continue on right here into this next part of the cave, and we're gonna battle this Picnicker. Now, this Picnicker has a few Pokemon on her team, not too many though. Uh, she's gonna have a Jigglypuff, which is level 21, a Meowth, which is level 21, and a Pidgey, which is level 21. So hopefully our Roshi will be able to take out this Jigglypuff with a Water Pulse right here. I don't know for sure though, I think Jigglypuff might live 1, 2, or maybe even 3 at that. Uh, maybe just 2, so that's good. Water Pulse, we don't actually have any PP left, so we're just gonna have to go for a bite right here and hope for the best. Not gonna die, but we are gonna get that flinch and Roshi's gonna take down this Jigglypuff right here. So that was pretty easy. Definitely happy about that, and she's gonna bring out Pidgey next. I'm actually gonna switch out here into Robin just because our Roshi ran out of PP, and Water Pulse is really the only move that's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Bite, I don't think we'll take out the Pidgey in like, I think it'll take it out in one, three, three or two shots or so, but not in one shot, so uh, we don't wanna lose our Roshi again to a stupid play that we made. But well, we are going to continue on here and take out this Meowth next with a Peck. Hopefully one shot and nice Robin taking out one shot. Super strong flying type. Taking out all these scrub Pokemon trainers. So we're going to win $420 memes guys. Don't worry about it. And we're going to come down here and talk to this man. I thought this was actually a trainer. It looks like he's not. But he will teach a Pokemon Rock Slide, which I'm going to do actually. So if you guys want to come and go ahead and do this, definitely teach your Pokemon Rock Slide. I actually forgot about this, to be honest. I had no idea he taught you Rock Slide. I was actually thinking he was a trainer. Uh, I haven't played Leaf Green Fire Red for a while, so I'm just uh, going off this tunnel by memory. I definitely know my way through here though, so if you guys were following me through the cave, I do know where I'm going, so don't worry about that whatsoever. So we're going to come up here now, and there's actually an item that you can pick up, which is a Max max Ether, which is nice. And we're going to fight this Hiker next. So I'm actually super happy that we got Rock Slide on our Pokemon right there. I definitely I want to teach my Pokemon uh, Rock through a long time, or not a long time ago, like two or two-ish episodes ago. But I was actually saving it for another Pokemon that we're going to get later on in the game. But... We're gonna fight this Geodude right here, and we don't have any water pulses left, so we're just gonna have to go for bites here and there. That was a critical hit, so it looks like we might actually have to uh, go ahead and not use our Pokemon, our uh, Roshi right here, because he will die from some rock slides. I'm gonna switch into our light bulb right here, and we should be able to beat this hiker right here. Uh, this hiker, I actually don't know what he has. I think he has a level 21 Geodude and a level 21 Graveler with a maybe another level 21 Geodude. I didn't see his Pokemon 100% before, so uh, we'll see how much Pokemon he actually has on his team. But we are going to go up to level 33, which is nice. Uh, Light Bulb definitely climbing those levels, and it looks like, okay, he has three Pokemon on his team, so what I said before, two Geodudes with level 21, and then a Graveler uh, that is level 21 at the end of the battle, we will fight. So Geodude's gonna go down from another, from a uh, Vine Whip right there, and Graveler's gonna come out now. Graveler, not the best Pokemon for special defense, so we'll, it will die in one shot right here, which is nice for us. And Light Bulb's gonna go up a few more EXP points right here. Almost up to level 24, around, I would say, 20, not 20, um, 75% away from uh, going up to level 34. So, we're gonna fight this Pokemaniac right here, and this Pokemaniac actually is pretty easy for Roshi to take out. I don't know if we can live any attacks from this thing, so hopefully, I don't think he'll die in one bite, but we'll see. Yeah, he's gonna live two bites. Hopefully he doesn't go for it. Nice, okay. So he didn't go for a confusion there, which is good, but I think since we got growled, he is gonna die from that bite. Nice. I think bite actually might be a special attacking move in this game. I don't know for sure though. I know in the later games, um, bite is a physical move as well as crunch, so that's nice to run on your physical Pokemon. But Slowpoke right here is gonna go for another growl, lower our attack stat, and Roshi gonna take out this next Slowbro, and, oh not Slowbro, Slowpoke, 
I don't know why I call him Slowbro. He doesn't even look remotely close to Slowbro. His face does, but Slowbro doesn't walk on four feet. Neither does he uh, have a tail sticking out there. He has a uh, like a shelter or something on his tail, something like that. Uh, the way Slowpokes actually evolve in the anime, if a shelter bites onto its tail, a Slowpokes tail, he will evolve into a Slowbro, which is kind of weird. You'd think he would level up by levels, but nope, Pokemon is weird like that. The anime is weird and doesn't want to do that. But next up, we're going to have a few Picnickers, which I actually don't want to use our Roshi anymore, because Roshi is almost dead, and we don't want to deal with that Dino, Dino, Dino beeping noise. Kind of gets annoying after a while, so uh, I'm gonna bring out Light Bulb right here, and Light Bulb should be able to take out this Bellsprout, Clefairy, and other Pokemon that are next up in these battles. Actually, I don't know if we'll be able to take out this Bellsprout in a few shots. Yeah, it looks like we only have Vine Whip and Razor Leaf. Hopefully, not gonna do that much damage though, and we're gonna get Stun Sport, Bellsprout. Oddishes, all these Pokemon that can paralyze our Pokemon are super annoying, so I'm gonna bring on my Robin now. I don't see the computer AI going for another stun, stun spore right here, so we don't have to worry about switching into more paralyzing, but we're gonna go for a pack right here and take out this Bellsprow in one shot, because you know Robin, he, he loves picking on those bug types and grass types, for sh that's for sure, so. Clefairy is going to come out next, and we should be able to uh, take this thing out in one shot with a Aerial Ace. I don't see it living. Maybe with a few HP. No, it's not. Clefairy is going to go down, and we defeat the Picnicker, which is nice. So, this next battle, um, our Light Bulb definitely can take out uh, the, these next few Pokemon, except for the Bells around the team. That might take a while, but. Since we are paralyzed, I'm gonna have to switch out now. I definitely wasn't expecting to get paralyzed by that belt spread there, so. Uh, Picnic here, Ariana is gonna send out a Pidgey right here. Robin's gonna come out, and the more dominant Burns bird is gonna come out on top, for, that's for sure. Robin always taking out those Pidgeys and Pidgeotos, bullying them, because he, he, he thinks he's a better Pokemon. Definitely not gonna lie, I think he's better as well, and. I never noticed this before, this is kind of weird to bring up, but just when looking at Pharaoh for so long, he just starts looking like a rooster or something. I don't know what kind of bird he's exactly supposed to be, but he looks like a messed up rooster. Uh, I don't know why, he, he just looks like that to me, but we're going to go for an aerial ace right here, take out this Rattata, and go up to level 33 actually, so we're actually at the same level as our, our light bulb I think at this point and his last Pokemon is or her last Pokemon I've been calling to hit her or he this whole battle but her last Pokemon is gonna be a Bellsprout Ariana is gonna go down and as well as her Bellsprout we're gonna get a few more EXP points here and a nice so we're gonna continue on down this cave now uh, it shouldn't be too much longer until we actually make it through this cave we're gonna pick up this pearl right here and fight I think this might be the Okay, so we're gonna continue on there. I actually cut out that battle. But okay, I actually cut out that battle there just because it did take a while to beat that trainer. My Robin actually got KO'd and too many wild Pokemon, I swear. But my Robin did get KO'd. I didn't know if an item was there. I swear, last part of the cave when we run through wild Pokemon. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of Rock Tunnel right there, guys. I'm gonna end off the episode here. Uh, if you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate if you gave uh, some criticism in the comment section down below. Just so I can improve this ep these episodes, I could become a better YouTuber and entertain you guys more and make you guys happier. Uh, so anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.